How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review. A review I never thought I'd ever do. Um, what am I doing? What? Got him into a team. It's all English, apart from the left back, which is effectively nearly English, isn't it? Scotland. Uh, and uh, we're going to review him today. In nets. And, um... See what he's like in the game. Let's have some skill runs. I don't know, man. He's... <laughs> Lads, I tweeted out, do you actually want to see a review on this? You guys said yes. And that is the only reason I'm literally doing a review on Nick Pope. He's six foot seven. He should be able to touch a crossbar with his little finger without stretching. And uh, he is very tall in this game. Well, he should be very tall in this game with six foot seven. But Lads, we're actually going to review this guy with five star skills today. What am I doing, man? What what does this come to? What does this come to? But lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Uh, bring that type, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. And um, one like equals one prayer. Who knows, man? Who knows? Because I'm going to take some dribbles out of nets with this card. I'm going to see what he's like when he saves. I'm going to see what he's like in general. And I don't review goalkeepers. The simple reason is... And one of the reasons I don't review goalkeepers is they're all the bloody same lads. You get a De Gea, he's the same as a bronze player. You get a bronze player, he's the same as a De Gea. Well, bronze players are notoriously worse. But um, goalkeepers are just aren't special on this game. But I hope Nick Pope actually is. He's got uh, six foot seven in terms of heights. <laughs> he's six foot seven. He is actually six foot seven. That is crazy. In real life, I don't even think he's six foot seven. Um, lads. Uh, six foot seven in terms of height. Uh, he's right foot primarily. He's got a three star weak foot. Of course, that makes all the difference. Um, <laughs> he's got five star skills. Five. Lads, maybe this was actually meant to put out for us to make us smile and stuff like that. But he's the highest rated go English goalkeeper by a long shot, I do believe. I've seen Bateson tweet something like that. Um, like I said, I wasn't going to review this card. Um, he's a Burnley goalkeeper. He's got English links. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what does he say about these? His speed is terrible. 59 acceleration, 55 sprint speed. What do you call this? He's not going to be able to scoop to him. Well, he can. He can he's got five star skills. But, lads, in terms of his uh, diving and handling and kicking and stuff, uh, plus 10. Takes a 97 on diving. Uh, honestly, lads, with goalkeepers in general, just stick it on basic. I mean, a plus 10 in every single category. Uh, basically, maxing out the card. So, 97 goalkeeper diving, uh, 98 handling. Uh, He's got 95 goalkeeper kicking, 97 reflexes, which should be, should be very important in this card. And um, goalkeeper position of 88. I want to see what his save technique is. Is there anywhere that tells you what his save technique is? Because they always used to have a save technique of a traditional, or was it acrobats? I can't find where it says this. It doesn't say it on the cards. It might say it in game, so I might have to like have a little look at that. But um, does he actually have any traits? Oh, brilliant. He comes out for crosses. <laughs> Lads, he comes for crosses. Maybe if I get a cross on the right wing with your walk on, he might arrive in the area. Just bang one in. Uh, he's got saves with feet trades. That's important, right? Well, what's with the low drivens? Uh, everyone just bangs them near post. I wish he had a near post trade. But um, this, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a barrel bloody last. But uh, we're going to stick with nets. We're going to play with nets. In terms of the SBC value, it's 40,000 coins. 40. That's not much. Especially for the highest rated English goalkeeper. You look at like, uh, uh, what rating is Loris? Is he 88? Loris? Uh, he's actually 88, yeah. Look at the price of Loris, he's 37,000. So for an 87 special goalkeeper with uh, better stats than Loris, does he? Yeah, he's got better stats than Loris. Loris only has 68 kick and that's uh, incredible. But we're gonna look at his distribution. We're gonna look at his save responsiveness. Uh, we're going to have a look at the card in general, and we're going to see uh, what it's like <laughs> with the five-star skills. Lads, let's just get in the review. You don't need to see tactics. Uh, let's just get into it. I've got to, like, let him through with the chances as well, give him, like, realistic chances. Uh, here's one. Near post? Please go near post, bro. I want to see what he's like. Oh. Uh. <laughs> lads, 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 lads. Would any keeper on this game just let that in? I believe so, I believe so. Here we go, boys. Oh, she's got a turn up, me. Oh, I don't... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I said that he saved me, save, boys. All six foot seven of him. First save he's made. Terrible distribution. I thought I was going to go with the striker. Was it another save? Keep us off his line a little bit. 
He's going for the near post every time. 4 0, lads. Oh, it's a big save. Oh, come on. Why is it a pen? Oh, like, when I do these reviews, I've got to let them have chances to test Pope out. This is ridiculous behavior. Is he gonna, oh my god, he's sweating it to put someone else on it as well. And why? Watch him look one corner, go the other. Oh, big sick Tom Pope. Let's go. Dude, six foot seven for him. And he could, oh, he saves from the corner. What a beast. Saves his feet. He saves his hands. This guy's probably sweat this match out as well, man. But, um, no keeper saving that, boys. No keeper saving that. Take the shot. Take the shot. You take the shot. Uh -uh. Someone take the shot. Look, look. The guy in the middle's in. The guy in the middle's in. Good ball. Take a shot. Take a shot. Dude, shoot, man. Lads, why you don't go on dribbles to Nick Pope is this, right? Look how slow he is. And then look how slow these are. Little one, two. <laughs> he goes backwards. But then I can I can just pull this out. Oh, see you later, Paul. See you later, Paul. Now, someone make a run. Actually, oh, see you later, Paul. Dude, he doesn't want to be embarrassed right now, does he? Oh. Dude. Oh, no, he's out. Then he, he conceded the goal, man. Then he got, oh. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was a good challenge. Dude, his ball control sucks as well, man. What is this? Oh, defending is good. Play him center back, boys. Dude, this guy's genuinely making me angry now. Take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. Head up, head up, head up. I mean, he had it covered, right? Go on, shoot. Shoot. Drag back, shoot. Oh, good save with the save with the feet trait, man. Oh, just take the shot. Just take the shot, man. Near post. Like, this is why I don't review keepers, though. All keepers will be beaten the same way on FIFA 20. FIFA 19. FIFA 18. Uh, they'll all be beaten the same way. This, this guy really pressing pause. Free ball. Free ball. Right, it's, oh my god, he passed it. This is a test boy. He's finessing your post. He saved it. I didn't even move the keeper there. It's a great save, you know. No header. Free header. Go on. Dude, why? Why did I give him a free header? I know why, because I want to test the keeper out, but... Lads. Six foot seven just being hit by a bouncing header in the top pins. So if you do want to beat someone that's six foot seven on this game, header it into the ground. Header it into the ground first. Position was awful. It was all over the shop. So there we have it, lads, for this deadly serious Nick Pope review on the channel. I hope you guys did enjoy that. But uh, in terms of Nick Pope, um, he, he's a goalkeeper. Goalkeepers give you what every goalkeeper gives on this game. Now, in terms of comparing to other goalkeepers, I still think De Gea is better than this uh, Nick Pope. Now, you might say you've only played two games with him. Lads, with goalkeepers on this game, you know straight away if you love him or hate him. Plus, you know straight away if you play 30 games, you might not improve a single piece. Uh, outside players, uh, outfield players, you know uh, their do's, their don'ts, their everything's goalkeepers. You just gotta save shots. That's all you need to do. But there is other things that goes against this card, like the throw-ins, um, or the goalkeeper throws, the over the throws. There's not that much power on it. It just simply doesn't. And his dribbling sucks. For a five-star skiller, his dribbling is utterly abysmal. <laughs> it's just, uh, that's, um, I don't know what this card is. I've I just got no idea what this card is. It's a goalkeeper. It's a good English goalkeeper. It's probably better than Pickford, but uh, it's, it's not one that's... Uh, it's going to be used regularly. Now, the difference with goalkeepers on this game, compared to other goalkeepers on this game, is links. Now, he links into Tomori. He links into Real Ferdinand. He gives those strong links into those players. Apart from that, you're not going to have him with like Sergio Ramos or anything like that, are you? Uh, Sergio Ramos and like Boateng and centre-back with him and Nets. Whereas, you probably go for like the icon goalkeepers. You go for a De Gea. You go for like the team of the season. Uh, Alisson, amongst others. Uh, to Stegen, Neuer. Each keeper, each league is like... The best goalkeeper within that league, you've got Stegen in La Liga, you've got Neuer in the Bundesliga. In the Serie A, you've probably got like, I don't know, Donnarumma, Handanovic. 
In the Premier League, you've got David De Gea slash Allison. So uh, in terms of Nick Pope coming into that equation, uh, I don't think he quite um, battles away their starting berths for me uh, in terms of players and stuff like that. Because let's be honest, lads, unless you're a certain YouTuber, you're not going to rock uh, Nick Pope and uh, Tarkowski. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to rock a Burnley defence. And with that being said, he does offer you somewhat value because you look at Lloris, we compared Lloris to him at the start of this review, uh, well, review, and um, <clears throat> what we said with those cards were they're literally similar price, like 37, 40,000 coins for an 88 Lloris and then an 87 uh, Nick Pope, but it's a special card, of course. And alas, he's got five star skills, five star skills. Uh, but it gets to the 8.0 from me because honestly with goalkeepers, Goalkeepers are goalkeepers. There's a reason I don't review them, lads. There's a reason I don't review them. Because like, literally the only thing that separates gold goalkeepers by the way, I'm not talking like bronze 57 rated cards. Um, the gold ones and the special ones and the icons and stuff like that. The only thing that separates them is their height. He's six foot seven. So uh, those low shots and stuff like that, he's not going to get down to them as fast and responsive as normal. But I've got to say his reactions were very, very good for me. Um, links separate the goalkeepers as well. And uh, uh, there's not much separates to keep us in general, to be honest. Uh, save technique used to, but I don't know if save technique's on this game anymore. I, I couldn't see it anyways. In terms of value for coins, he's got a 9.6 for myself. 40,000 coins isn't that bad, and we did compare that earlier on. Uh, enjoyments. He's a goalkeeper, man. How many times are we going to say this during this review? Uh, he's a goalkeeper. What enjoyment can you get out of a goalkeeper? On it? Oh, good save, lad. Good save. You do that again. Uh, but this one, you've got the, the five-star skills. Adds a 0.1 to it. So, uh, literally... Enjoyment would have been zero because it's a goalkeeper. You don't get enjoyment out of keepers. Uh, well, I don't anyways, but um, the enjoyment rating with the five-star skills is a point one. Uh, in terms of foot champ stays, he would be a starter. If, if I had him and I had to use him, I'd start him because why not, you know? In terms of games played, he played two. Skill runs, he did five skill runs for me. Uh, skill runs completed, zero. Uh, not good, not good. Um, <laughs> match ratings, uh, literally pointless for goalkeepers, especially when I'm giving my opponents chances, you know? I'm giving them chances to score goals, I'm giving them chances to do this, because I want to test the keeper's reaction saves and just saves in general. In terms of links, Tomori, Rio Ferdinand, Tarkowski, but not going to use Tarkowski. Pros, reaction, very good. His reactions are really good in this game. His kicking is tremendous. You could kick from one end of the pitch to the other within a split second. His kicking is mad on this game. His handling is very good, which he does catch shots. He parries shots very well. His handling is quite good in this game. And his heights. He has 6 foot 7, even though he got beaten last game. When he had that hit the floor, then bounced over the top of him. But that was his position in coming in. Uh, cons, throws. He's long over the arm throws, they're not very effective, they're not very powerful, and they don't really go that far. And in terms of the dribbling, he's, he's a goalkeeper, you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> five star skills on a goalkeeper doesn't mean like, lads, you, you could get glitter, put it on a turd. It's not going to turn into a super turd. You put five star skills on a goalkeeper, it's not going to turn into a super keeper with skills that's going to take on everybody. It's just the way it's going to be. Yeah. In terms of traits, he's got comfort crosses, which I don't always like on goalkeepers. But hey, I mean, if it works for him, it works for him. And uh, saves with feet. It used to work for the low drivens, but nobody low drivens anymore. They go near post. So uh, those traits are pretty much irrelevant to the car. In terms of over 100k, I'd say Team Year Allison is better than Nick Pope. But again, it's all about links. And De Gea is better than uh, Nick Pope in under 100k. Passing. I'll give him a 5 for that. His passing was actually not bad, especially with the kicks being as powerful as that. The shooting would be a 1. Um, never had a shot with him, so I can't really judge. 2 on the dribbling, because his dribbling sucks. Um, but he's got 5-star skills, so that adds like a point one. Uh, in terms of physical, 7. He's six foot seven. He's got to have a good punch on him, right? In terms of 5-star skills, he's got them. He's uh, got 3-star weak parts. His work rates... It says medium and medium on the website, but he doesn't have work rates, so I'm not too sure. And uh, height is six foot seven. He's right foot primarily. He's not a lefty. Normally, goalkeepers are good when they're lefties. Fabian Bartes, Ike Cassias. Ah, uh, that's about it. In terms of the key pro, you got reactions, very good. Key con would be the dribbling, and the best game style would be basic. Always have basic on goalkeepers. Glove, who needs that? Uh, wall, who needs that? You know what I'm saying? Just stick a basic on there and um, this should do well. But lads, this is my entirely serious review on Nick Pope. Hope you enjoyed it, man. Hope you enjoyed it. But lads, um, honestly, it's just another goalkeeper at the end of the day. Goalkeepers are goalkeepers and there's a reason I don't review them. But if you have enjoyed this uh, kind of, I don't know, this is it a review? I'll call it a review because I reviewed the cards. But um, 
this kind of video. I hope you've enjoyed the video in general, lads, and this took, uh, took you away from your day. It took you away for like five minutes, two minutes, ten minutes, I don't know. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I hope you've enjoyed regardless. Hope you have a good time in isolation. Everyone's in isolation right now, quarantine, uh, whatever the hell they want to call it. And um, I hope you're doing well, man. I really, really do. And so I hope you, everyone gets bored, right? So I hope you're not going out and uh, trying to get rid of that boredom. I hope you're staying indoors and trying to uh, focus your mind on certain things. Maybe FIFA is going to be that. Maybe this video could be that. Um, who knows, lads? Who knows? But I hope you have enjoyed. A like would be very much appreciated on this video. Because honestly, I don't know how this video is going to do. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Make sure you check out the second channel for foot channel's content. And as always, I will catch you all next time.